in one of the students asked me that what is basically this k in l representing basically so we know that basically um, uh, eds or edx is an x-ray based analysis what is that basically means if you look into the scanning electron microscope so we are bombarding electrons on the specimen so in scanning electron microscope uh, when we are in the mood of scanning when you want to scan the surface so we just bombarded electrons and there is primary electron and secondary electrons but when we change the mood of the ECM machine to the EDX so what basically we are doing we are just uh, sending the electron inside the material this is the difference here and we are going to knock out the inertial electron for example uh, if we look into this uh, atomic structure of uh, any element for instance so we have the nucleus here which consists of proton and neutron and we have the electrons uh, residing in the shells here okay so closest to the nucleus we have the k shell and that followed by l shell m and n and o if you are going above and above now when we bombard electron uh, from the ECM machine uh, on this specimen so it will knock out the the inner inner shell most electron so when it knock out so there will be a vacancy so there will be a vacancy and uh, the other uh, a electron living uh, above there uh, it will try to fill that vacancy so because of the difference of the energies between these two electrons energy will emit in that we call x-ray that is basically characteristics x-ray because we want to know about the characteristics of the material that what type of material is that so basically edx is giving you the this is basically mean k k shell carbon also there oxygen also there. basically this material is a composite this material is a composite of titania and sn 10 oxide uh, only 10 so this was the composite and also oxygen was also there yes uh, titania and oxygen uh, and sn composite so that that basically you can see here so we are not interested in o or in carbon but we are interested in titania so titania we also uh, remove electron from the k shell you see here and from sn we remove electron from the l shell so both are uh, uh, the high energy shells because when the electron are closer to the nucleus so that electron contain more ionization energy ionization energy means that we will require more energy to remove that electron so you can see here eds and edx micro analysis is mostly concerned with electrons in the inner shells such as k l and m you see here in most of the cases you will see only these three uh, shells uh, m uh, l l k k k you see here this is because uh, we need electron to go inside the specimen and uh, are the uh, atom and remove electron from the inner shell not from the outer shell okay because we we need to know uh, the elemental composition so from there uh, we can get this information that uh, how many elements are basically present there so this is a very clear question this means that the, the this k l and m basically from that, that characteristics x-ray so when you are doing uh, eds or edx analysis this is energy dispersive x-ray analysis or energy dispersive spectroscopy analysis so when you change the mood from scanning to the uh, x-ray so that happened basically okay because you are not just scanning mean you are just uh, scanning the surface the scanning mean you know scanning uh, when you want to uh, find the price in the supermarket you just scan the price there that code so because scanning mean you are just talking about surface but when you are talking about eds or edx you are just going inside uh, more or less to the uh, transmission electron microscope but not that much powerful because uh, that is a little bit uh, weaker than that one so here you just knock the electron just like here you see here when you knock electron so there you create we can see and the other uh, electron fall down because of that you remove the uh, 
radiation. And this is basically X-ray. And this is K alpha, pyr from titania. And when the other one come from the top, so that is another one is this is now N alpha or something, because the, 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 these are the the, the levels which uh, uh, X-ray are producing. So these X-ray are called the characteristics X-ray. Okay, and there is also if you look into the uh, shield, there are also subshields. So there are also subshells, so there we give the name K alpha, K beta, K gamma, L alpha, L beta, L gamma. You know, there are, if electrons are more, so there are also subshells. So this is how we know that, now we target basically here, this specimen here. So under this specimen, it gives us the cuff, and it, in the table form, it gives us that these elements are there. And the radiations, the X-ray, basically this is the intensity, and this is the energy here. This is, you see? kilo electron volt this is the energy basically and this is the intensity of the cuff so it means that uh, uh, these uh, elements are there and it is in the uh, the x-ray basically from uh, k i mean that we remove electron from the inner shell and from sn we remove electron from the second shell so this is how it gives us information about uh, uh, this k in l and m so this is basically uh, uh, related to that uh, radiations, whether it is alpha or it is, it is, it is beta or it is uh, whether the, uh, for, for example, in case of titania, the electron jump from L to K, from the, to the bus orbit, this is you see here. In case of uh, SN, uh, in case of SN, uh, it means that it's come from to L from M to N, so we we create vacancy in the L. So when electron jump and come there, so it radiate uh, energy. So that energy is in the form of uh, graph, as you can see here. This graph. Okay. So I hope it's clear now. Thanks for watching.